So this is your last call. If you guys don't know, we usually look at 801 at the end of the week. We're going to be looking at 801, Banshee, Zer, and Eververse in that order. And yeah, we're just going to be looking at what they're selling. I do apologize that last week I... <laughs> so this is pretty funny. Last week I ended up doing the week 15. But it was week 15 of last season because unfortunately my editing software saved it in a different folder. And for some reason I still had uh, season 15 from last season. So that's what happened. If for those of you who are wondering, like, this is not adding up, that's what happened. Unfortunately, I posted the wrong video. I do apologize. That won't happen again because, again, it's one of those one off things that just, it just, I don't know, it just happened. So <laughs> I do apologize. But if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, I really do appreciate it because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed. So do me a favor, like, comment, sub. This is definitely going to be posted the correct week. And yeah, uh, let's other, other than that, let's get into it. So before we actually look at Ada, let's look at what the fit for the video is. So it's this one. I love this fit. You will see this in the Titan video for the Gallahorn armor because we use the Fenrir Bane and then the Fer uh, the Mark and the Gauntlets. Um, for the exotic, we're using the Adamantine Rebirth ornament for the uh, Lorelei Splendor. The Veil Tights Plate chest piece, I love it. And then the Iron Pledge ornament, which you can get this uh, in Iron Banner right now. Well, not right now. Iron Banner is not up right now. But when Iron Banner comes at, comes back, you can definitely get this ornament. So for the Shader, G G Gamekeeper is what we're using just because uh, I really like the fact that a lot of it is just a lot of muted earth colors. Um, and then the red and the yellow. Like, honestly, I didn't want anything too crazy because I didn't want the red and the yellow to be really obnoxious. So... Let me know what you guys think about this look. I definitely love this look. It's one of my favorite looks that I've made so much so that it's actually on my loadouts now, uh, specifically right here. And yeah, this season has been really good for Lorelei fashion. I've done quite a few fits that look really, really cool. So that is it. Let's look at Ada One. So first and foremost, it's Burguzian Knight. I would definitely recommend Burguzian. Uh, it's a really, really good shader. Just be aware that with cloth, it doesn't look really, really good. There, off, there are off colors for this one, specifically this like light purple, almost lavender color. Um, that's the secondary color. There is another color, which is that you can actually see it on the chest piece right here. It's not the best. I'm gonna be quite honest with you guys. Actually, let me let me go show you real quick because I do think it's important because the shader is fucking weird especially when you find the things that it doesn't look good with so let me show you real quick so yeah it's right here um do i have a shader that will specific or an armor set that specifically you'll see it um is it this one i don't even remember which pieces take off colors i think it's this one yeah it's right here so it's like it has like a crumbly look as well which is really really weird let me see if i can find another one uh oh wait, wait this one should do it yep there it is so yeah it's it's really really weird and i specifically wanted to show you because i think it's important um there's certain armor sets that you will see this color uh specifically the psionic strangler stuff for all the classes you will see this because it takes uh like the secondary off color or the off off color i should say so just to really showcase that because i do think it's important um we have the kairos black shader which I'm not the biggest fan of this shader, but at the same time, I like it. Like, if it was just this color, I think it would be really cool. But, like, actually, if you if you switch out this color, I think it's really cool. I think the blue and, like, the, not brown, but whatever the hell this color is, like, like a really weird green. I think that's really, really cool, but you see the off color here as well. It's like a silver almost. So that is that new monarchy regalia one of my favorite shaders definitely pick this shader up i highly recommend this shader the off color is silver for plate but other than that it looks really cool golden red it's the iron man shader as for the armor it's going to be right here i'm not going to talk too much about it other than the fact that for the hunters the chest piece is really good titans i think the boots are really good and then the warlocks i think the helmet and the chest piece are really good other than that i'll give you guys some time to look at it while i go to a uh, banshee As for Banshee, he's selling Luna Lada 4B Shoot to Loot with Headstone, Iota Draconis with Heating Up and Frenzy, 
Ostringer with Air Salt and Rampage, and Disparity with No Distractions and Headstone, and Bump in the Night with Auto Loading Holster and Frenzy. So remember that this one is a red border, this one is a red border, and this one is a red border. That being said, this is for Sunday. Um, Monday, unfortunately, if you guys are watching this on Monday, this is going to be different. At least I'm pretty sure it is considering this is not the same things he was selling on Friday. So if you are watching this on Monday, um, I don't know what to tell you, unfortunately, but I would definitely pick up at least Ostringer, Disparity, and Bumped in the Night because these are red border weapons. <sighs> Iota Draconis heating up in Frenzy. If it, if it wasn't Frenzy, I'd be like, yeah, pick it up because heating up is nice. And Loot and Elada, Shoot to Loot and Headstone is going to be really nice for PvE just because <clears throat> Shoot to Loot, you can literally shoot your what your um the bricks so that way you can get the ammo without having to go over there which is really good for gms and headstone would be really nice because you get stasis crystals on final blows specifically uh precision final blows which you could use as cover or if you have a stasis build it could be really useful for full for that so let me know what you guys are going to be picking up from that as for zuri he's in the whiny cove on the edz currently selling the mars planetary armor i definitely think this is armor that you need to pick up titans especially this armor is super dope let me go check the other classes real quick because definitely i think it's like for me i think the titans have the best armor from the mars armor i'm just gonna be honest with y'all like that armor is crispy af so hunters helmet is definitely usable i think the chest piece is definitely usable i think the boots and the arms are kind of weak boots are a little bit better than the arms the cloak i think is really cool granted it's going to be rough to use though titans arms chest piece boots the best pieces in the game for titans in my opinion uh boots are really really good if you want to go for a juggernaut look same thing goes for the arms same thing goes for the chest piece the chest piece however i really really like if i'm going for like a dead space look because when you combine it with the dark age helmet it looks absolutely amazing and then warlocks uh i think the helmet's decent i think the arms are whatever's chest piece is super dope boots are super dope and i think the bonds is really really boring so i definitely would recommend you guys to pick this up just because again it's like one of my favorite sets that i use a lot for my titans specifically like boots and chest piece are literally right here like i'm using both of them and yeah i love love the combo of the chest piece with dark uh the dark age helmet just because it looks really really cool but again like i use this like it's all also right here this is also what i'm using with the boots the boots i crutch on hard because they're really really good and it, again i'm using them right here and yeah i love these boots to death that's really really all i'm gonna be saying right now so let me know what you guys are gonna be picking up i'll have the armor sets or armor rolls right here um nothing too much to say about this i always say this when i show the rolls but um if you're a new player this armor is really really good if you, we have really good rolls but i would definitely say this is like beginner armor because the best armor is definitely raid uh, not raid armor specifically dungeon armor more specifically artifice armor which you get from doing high-end dungeons and i just think those are the best armor sets so let me know what you guys are going to be picking up as for weapons we're going to be looking at gn7 rifle with zen moment and outlaw uh peace of mind with auto loading holster and warple spare rations with moving target and kinetic tremors seven server cqc 12 with auto loading holster and trench that's not bad uh, contingency plan with firmly planted and kill clip berenger's memory with thermoplast no uh, underdog and auto loading holster and then recurrent impact with subsistence and frenzy which is not bad at all either so this is a red border weapon this is i think a red border weapon and this is a red border weapon i think this is a red no it's not actually this is before did it come back no it's not a red border weapon i don't think so but I, I definitely know peace of mind and recurrent impact is let me know what you guys are going to be picking up from the weapons exotics we're looking at moving target for hawk moon and then vigilance swing which is terrible why would you give us this after the buff for the exotics graviton forfeit with 21 mobility which is not bad actually and strength is pretty high as well pretty good uh, ursa furiosas with way too high mobility and then current scenes with actually really good roles uh resilience recovery and discipline that's exactly what i want to see uh some people some people might argue uh discipline should be strength switch the stats should be switched because that would be better but i don't really care uh, as for exotic let me see what i'm picking up right now 
Mm, Peregrine. Okay, so I can definitely ignore that. So let me know what you guys are going to be picking up from Xur. Some pretty cool pieces, especially the armor. I think the armor is definitely worth it. But yeah, let me know what you guys are going to be picking up. Let's go to Eververse real quick because I don't even remember what she's selling. So to continue off with Eververse, Verdant Chrome is what we're going to be looking at. Doesn't look bad actually. I think the gold's pretty decent. I think the green is also really good because it's not like super in your face. It's really dark. I like that. Uh, cherry blossom entrance, which if you like cherry blossoms, this is this is where you get it. Definitely pick it up. Uh, the front runner. Doesn't look like it's whatever. Uh, perfect swing. Then for the stuff at the bottom, we have class of its own. If you like shader changes for ornaments, have at it. I mean, to be fair, people are going to be like, no, Tony has a glow right here. That's so minor that I don't really give a slight shit. But okay, whatever. Do you, dog? Uh, richly cap compar comparisoned. I really like this one. It looks really, really cool. I like these. This is super dope. I don't think it changes color, though. It does not change color. But yeah. Um, Stygian Corsair. Or coarser, corsair, coarse, coarser. Should be coarser. Uh, padded sh armor shell. Out of breath. Toy hula hoop. And then AI fuck reboot. I'm not saying all that dumb shit. Uh, reflection effects cherry blossoms which we already looked at up for grabs which is, this is the McDonald's one yeah the chitin slate shader which I definitely think is worth a pickup because it turns off glows and or makes them into a solid verdant chrome crown I mean yeah I'm not a fan of this one the greens too too bright but I'm not a fan of the this color combo if I'm being quite honest, Verdant Chrome. This one looks okay. Wait, is this the one we looked at at the top? Verdant Chrome? Yeah, it is. Okay. I uh, already talked about that one. So that is pretty much it. Let me know what you guys are going to be picking up. I have uh, a few things I have planned. I still have not done the Gallahorn videos, which I have. I've, I have them ready. I just need to do the voiceover, which is what I'm going to be doing right after I'm done with this video. Um... And some other videos here and there that I'm still making. I will have to remind you guys that I am starting my new job on Monday. Which means that the content will probably be released slower than usual. Just because, again, I'm working two jobs. It's not that crazy. One of them is super part-time. Like, literally one day a week, I think. And then the other one is literally, like, three days a week. And then after that, I think I'm going to go full time. So I don't know. We'll see. I definitely don't want to give up on this channel. I definitely want to keep doing it because I've been doing it for so long and I don't want to just give up. And I genuinely enjoy making content for this channel. I genuinely enjoy making fashion for you guys because it's super fun. It's really, really one of those things that I do that I just kind of like. I spend so much time making fashion that it's like I really would like to make it a full time gig, but we're not there yet. Once we get there, it'll be super dope. But let me know what you guys think. I appreciate y'all. Be safe. I'll see you guys later.